All right, folks, this is Anesos, and welcome back for another episode of Blood and Balloons. Uh, it's just turned morning outside, but I got a couple things to do inside first. Uh, for the first time in this series, I have done a few things off camera. Uh, quite a few things off camera, actually. One of them is I just got this tough rod cast using the old stone tough rod, which we've done before with different ones obviously and with that and uh, some iron and come on these two guys this aluminum brass and some leather I'm gonna be able to make a knapsack which is nice we already got I already made the um, strong box which is cool too but you have to put that one in the world and pick it up and all that stuff so this is going to be nice uh, I just need some leather and we're going to head over to the cows and grab some leather here in a minute the uh, next thing I wanted to do is I looked up how to make bread because it's not just three wheat in here you have to make dough and it is a nourishing light meal so it'll be nice and it'll give us a little bit of nourishment so we don't lose hunger so fast after eating and what you just need is uh, exactly what you'd think. Flour, water, and sugar. Uh, salt. <laughs> sugar. Flour, water, and salt. That's your basic bread in the real world, too. So, uh, two options. You can put in a water bucket, and you'll get one out of that. But if you put a water bucket in here, you can get four fresh water, and you do get the bucket back. So, if we do this, we'll throw in the old fresh water. Bam, four dough. Let me grab that again and just to show there's my bucket and we're gonna get a little bit of bread here to eat because I was pretty low on everything now that is the only five dough that I have or salt that I have so I can't make any more bread until we can find some more salt but this will go a long way towards getting through um, the current situation. Oh, I think off camera I added this chest. I move all the seeds and food kind of stuff up there, the, the mixing bowls and juicers and all that, because this one was basically full of junk. Uh, so sorting those out was good. Uh, it is light, so I want to get moving here. I don't want to. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, I'm yellow on the weight here, and I've got two bro. Let me grab the bread too. Oh, well, that's the last one. I'll grab. You know, I don't want to take it all with me, just in case. Let's leave a little bit there. Okay. Let's try to head over towards the farm. Now, you guys left a comment, or somebody left a comment, which is basically what I was thinking is why did I make the farm that far away from the hidey hole? And the reason was kind of that I was trying to get over towards the roguelike dungeon. Oh yeah, and off camera, went out the back door a couple times, uh, had some creeper issues. No deaths, but did make a bit of a hole there. I think that was probably the biggest deal that happened off camera. Uh, really, I've just been back and forth to the farm a few times. I've been grabbing more seeds and getting the farm built up a bit. And like I said, I started thinking... Why Why did I build over here? And, and I know I wanted to build it kind of towards the roguelike dungeon, but I think also what that means is I should start working on building a house over here. And that's what I've got going on here. So, in the middle of it, obviously, but trying to build, I think, three high wall is going to be required because some of those, there's jumping mobs that'll, well, jump at you. And I expect they can definitely get over a single high. Uh, they may be able to get over two high, I'm not sure, on that one. Anybody else? Everybody eating up? Yeah, okay, so I got quite a few cows now. Um, three. Can I get one more? No. Um. One more guy over there that wants some, a partner, but no partners left. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so this means uh, it's time to get... Oh, yes, right. Fiery sword. Forgot about that. Get that six leather and make the knapsack. Two. 
but we'll get some steak out of this, which is just morsels, but hey, you know, I'll, <laughs> I'll take them. And because of the flames, I think they actually will cook. Uh, yeah, I got 14 nourishing snacks. So because the, f the sword has fire on it, they actually auto cook. Um, because the cow's on fire. There you go. Alright, is that enough leather? That is enough leather. So I'm going to leave the rest of them for the moment. Let's eat these two fish sticks. And I did put a gate in, so let's get rid of this. That was my way to jump out. Where did I put the gate? There it is. And, yeah. Why are you, you're not here? You're down here? There you are. Okay, move over. Yeah, so I wanted to go ahead and jump on camera and show that I'm working on this. So, crops need to be in the sunlight to grow, I believe. So, I need to leave this part open to the sun. But then what I think I'm going to do is build around this area, level this out, and build an actual, well, house. Kind of just, probably just a, pretty much a uh, big square thing of cobblestone is really what it's going to be. Um... Yeah, let's just throw a few of these things in here. Uh, let me go ahead and make up this knapsack. And hopefully by doing that, I'll be able to kind of get along here. Uh, I was honestly playing a little bit, hey knapsack, playing a little bit like, hey, there's this huge invasion coming, and we're going to die, and bad things are going to happen. Uh, you should put this guy right here, and then once you've got it there, now you have some extra storage. So there we go. Now, if you do die, that's going to fall off and all your stuff's going to fall on ground. Uh, just like as if it was in your normal inventory. So don't expect it to protect your items, but it gives you some nice, easy to use uh, storage. And at least for the moment, zero weight storage. Because, well, I guess the knapsack probably weighs one. Okay, well, I'm too late today. Um, let me throw down just a few more. I need to get a torch up there and get that lighting bug fixed. Um, let me throw down just... Did I? Yeah, I just got rid of the cobblestone. Alright, let me just throw down one quick stack of cobble here. And by stack, I mean 16. I'll see if there's something I can do with the cooked steak or not. I know with raw, there are some options, but I don't know about what's cooked. Uh, so for the moment, let's leave this open. So, you, yeah, like I said, I want this at least too high. The problem becomes when you hit a wall, because things can spawn up there. So, I need to find a good, uh, uh, three high, actually, I think. Oh, wow, well, that was quick. Um, the problem is, stuff can spawn on top and then fall down if I put a roof here. Or, if I have a wall that goes this far, they can come up and, you know, over that way, whatever. So, I'm going to have to figure out a good uh, solution for how to come up into the cliff side so they can't get down but also still leave this area open so that the crops will have direct sunlight and grow and that's the other thing I wanted to mention that I kind of messed up a little oops I think I figured out why the crops are going growing so slowly um, I was kind of getting to the point of thinking my goodness is it not even going to be worth farming here because those crops are just not growing well let me show you once we get back to base here. Uh, I tried to put the farm kind of midway between the roguelike dungeon and hidey hole here. And my thought again was that it would be... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. There it is. I just saw the trails. Okay. So, Meteor just landed across the way over there. Okay. How far away? And is this finally the invasion? It's turning night, so I can't go over there and check it out right now. That's for darn sure. But I guess that is first thing to do in the morning. Uh, at any rate, what I was saying, hopefully nothing will come right through the wall at me, um, was I was hoping that this was midway between Heidi Hole and the dungeon over here, and this dungeon is going to spread out all over this whole area here, so that that would actually be chunk loaded when I was in the dungeon and when I'm in Heidi Hole. Well, 
I guess I forgot to check because it's one chunk off. So the farm, oh, and I didn't explicitly say that while I was over there, but I, of course I built the farm out uh, quite a bit larger, not huge, but quite a bit larger than it was. Uh, the farm and the cows and all that stuff are not chunk loaded when I'm at home, when I'm in Heidi Hole, unless I stand right over here in this corner because this is a different chunk. And then they are loaded. So, yeah, that was my mistake, obviously. And that's why nothing's growing over there, or a big reason nothing's growing. Now, I still think things are set to grow more slowly than normal. I think I'll just eat these. Oh, they are snacks. They're not morsels. So that's, that's better than I thought. Spaghetti and meatballs. Ooh. How do you make spaghetti? Tomato, spice leaf, and pasta. Pasta is going to take dough and butter. Eh, fairly involved. Okay. Make some hash. Make a taco with some cheese and lettuce and a tortilla. All right. I, I will have to go through and check out what all we can make. Ah, here's what I did in um, Magic Farm 2. Footlong hot dogs. Wholesome large meal. Pretty easy, although bread was easier in that one. Uh, but yeah, just lettuce and tomato to grow, and then mayo can come from eggs. Oh, you can't make it with soybeans here. Um, soybeans make uh, tofu, and in Magic Farm, tofu will substitute for basically any meat. It's your vegetarian version. So you can't make footlongs with uh, tofu in this pack. Interesting. That's too bad because I just got a soybean fi seed finally and got it planted. Okay, well, I don't see any invaders right now, but I definitely need to get over there and check out that meteor first thing in the morning and see what's going on. And that should give us a nice boost on the... Um, let's see, I can put that in the knapsack, put that in the knapsack. That's good. Give us a nice boost on the uh, metals and materials we have. So let me cut out for the night. I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to kind of hang out here and conserve hunger a bit. And then when it's morning, I'll pop back in and we'll head over and check out that meteor. Uh, and then back to kind of securing a location over here. And that will be a good jumping off point to get to the roguelike dungeon. As well as... I won't have scavenged as much from this, well, okay, I've been out here before, but I haven't, I'm sure, been back and forth and got all the different uh, berries and all that stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to scavenge up some more berries and get a little more temporary uh, relief on the food while the crops start growing when I'm actually in the right chunk and they are actually chunk loaded. Yeah, so be back when it's morning. Alright folks, and we're back. It has turned morning, but it is raining out, and although I don't hear anyone at the exact moment, I definitely was just hearing a bunch of zombies and creepers wandering around out there. There's one. There's a creeper. Let's... but I do want to... oh dear. Mm -hmm. Um... I want to get over to that meteor and go check it out and see what's going on. But I am worried about what's going to happen if I break out of here. Let's just do one of these. Come here. Anybody out here want to play? Enderman. Is that Enderman right now? We want to... Get the heck out of here. Alright, I think we can even see it on the mini-map. There's a black splotch over to... Manicores and Remoras. Okay. What, what, what? Stop it. Uh, there's a black splotch on the mini-map. I was hoping to get far enough away from here that... we shouldn't have a problem. Um, yeah, so in the rain... Mobs won't despawn because they won't catch on fire and die. Uh, but we shouldn't have new mobs 
spawning. Oh, wow. Right. You following me. Give me those fancy boots you have. Mm -hmm. Alright, jumping again, but I saw some cotton here, which is good for string and, of course, cotton seeds. Okay, that is not it. Oh. Let's use our bow on this guy. Hey, little guy. No! Not cool! Oh, yes. Uh, okay, so that's not the meteor, so I gotta find the meteor, but are we safe for the moment? You hear the silly background music, guys? It is April 1st, and the skin is a little messed up for some reason, but Mo Yang replaced everybody with villagers, and I don't know why, but in this pack it's not quite right. But uh, yeah, so it's it's the it's April 1st, it's April Fool's Day. There's a little silly music in the background, and skins are all kind of funny. All right, giant zombie, oh, giant jumping zombie. I'm an expert at it. Something about luck. Oh no, not more fire. Ah, and more jumping guys. Jeez, not good, not cool. I thought I just got done saying how. Whoa. Just got done saying how things wouldn't spawn in the daytime here, even though it's raining. You know what, piggies? Um, I'm gonna take some of your meat. I haven't grabbed any pigs to. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's just silly. I haven't grabbed any pigs to breed yet, but honestly, I don't usually bother with them because steak is just as good as pork in most cases. And with cows, you also get um, leather. But. I suppose here those will be cooked since I have the fire sword and I can eat those up directly as some more morsels. Alright, is that the thing? So I was standing here, I looked across, maybe this is it. That looks more like it. I'm not sure what I'm seeing over here. Oh no, this this looks a lot like a meteor landed here. Okay. Oof. Interesting uh, ice gen there. Alright, cool. Let's grab all the good stuff. I should be able to... Whoa. Hey, lag. What's up? I should be able to dig pretty much all... Well, okay. Let's do this. So, that releases a... An explosive gas, but notice it dissipates. Well, it's supposed to dissipate pretty quickly. Uh, so, especially outside where there's no torches around, then, you know, that's pretty okay. Somebody said don't use your, your pickaxe until it dissipates, and I just sort of did. But, I don't know what... I know a torch will set it off, and it will explode, and you will die. I don't know if, you know, actually just hitting it with a pickaxe is going to do anything or not. Yeah, so okay, while we're digging here, uh, 104 pack, I think has been posted, or is about to be posted, and lots of updates, lots of changes. I need to go read the change log a little more, think about the changes a bit, because um, I only had a few minutes here and I didn't want to try to figure it all out while I'm on camera over lunch, basically. Um, the one thing for sure I mentioned in the last video was the strong boxes are no longer craftable. So if you want to get a strong box, well, actually I think it said in future versions it will be added to the dungeon spawn loot table. So you'll be able to go to dungeons and get the strong boxes from there. But in this version, I don't think there's any way to get a strong box. Uh, well, in the 104 version, that is. So if you want a strong box, you're going to have to either create one in 103 or wait for a future version 
and then hopefully you'll be able to find one in uh, in a dungeon chest somewhere. Wow, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I wish it wasn't raining slash snowing because I'm not sure what time it is. But this is quite a bit. I may have to dig in and finish uh, finish this tomorrow. Just thinking, is there a way to make a little hidey hole here in the meteor itself? Hmm. Probably not because I'm trying to dig it all up. Alright, we'll let that dissipate. We'll let that dissipate. So let's see, there was a change coming about coal. I think in the new pack, uh, you can't make charcoal directly from wood anymore. It's changed. And coal now can be used to make torches. You get two to one or something like that. So like I said, I gotta, I gotta go look at all this stuff. But uh, any rate, so here's the meteor. Let me finish digging this guy up. Looks like I've still got uh, a fair amount to go. And if something exciting happens, I'll pop the recording back in. Otherwise, I'm going to head back to the house. Oh, yeah. let's. So I'm overweight. Let's pop a bunch of this stuff in here. And that should fix the weight issue. And my inventory. And ha-ha! 29, which is still a little bit heavy. 22. All right. Good enough. All right. Let me kill the uh, recording for a moment. And I'll pop back in if anything exciting happens. See you in a few. All right, folks, I'm back. Uh, I went and dug into a hole for a bit overnight. I did indeed run out of time uh, before le before sunset. I think that looks sort of like morning. I just dug up there, and I, I'm not quite sure if that's really morning. But, yeah, the main entrance had some giant zombies out in front of it, so I came over here, and now there's fire zombies over here. Um, so, I thought I'd cut the recording back in and we'll see what it's going to take here to get out of this hole now that I've dug myself in for the night. I should have probably sealed that up behind me there. Ah, there we go. The sweet sounds of morning. Yay! What do we got here? Creeper. Plague zombie. More creepers. <laughs> what a crazy pack. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of tick lag, I think, going on there. Whoa! Why? Who? Why blow up? Okay. Just randomly decided he wanted to explode, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, even though I do have a pack now, it is definitely not unlimited. So, I'm pretty much out of room and... I have started throwing some stuff on the ground here. That sounds pretty good. Let's see if we can get out here and see what's going on. Now, I don't want to just stand right here because if there's stuff around, it will come on down and get me. We don't want that. Okay. Yeah, all right. Looks pretty good. I was trying to F7 it. I missed apparently or un F7 it. Okay, cool. So, let's I think someone just broke a uh, torch. It makes the breaking door sound when they break a torch. So there may still be some zombies around here somewhere. Right there. Hello. And of course you're gonna call the cavalry? Yes? No? Maybe? No. That's it. That's all of, all of them left. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Let's just go get him before we get hijacked. Ambushed. Whatever. Oh, are you stuck in a hole? Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, that sound is... That music is crazy. Alright. Yeah, I'm glad I killed those pigs back there because I have eaten pretty much all the pork up already. Dig the uh, coal over there and let that settle out a bit. Oh my gosh. So silly. 
Okay. So this is, um, I was going to say, there's different meteors, I think. Sometimes you'll get um, nether materials. Sometimes you'll get, like, precious materials. I'm not sure which one this is, because there is some gold. But there's also, like, just regular old lead, ferrous, whatever. Copper. So, interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Just, no. Shush. Be quiet. <laughs> I can't think when that guy's going. Do, 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 do. I wonder who at Mo Yang did that. I bet you it's posted somewhere. Somebody knows. Oh my gosh, this goes way down. I thought it was just on the surface. I bet you I missed like half of the uh, ore out of that first meteor. I may have to go back there and dig that up too. Okay, well, um, did get out of the hole. Looks like I got more digging to do. Oh, and I, I obviously you can see it here, but I meant to mention at one point uh, while I was digging off camera, I did get a level up on the pickaxe and got auto repair. Uh, same thing with the hatchet. So that's really cool. Now right now it's not repairing as fast as I'm using it, but that's okay. Once we get back to the base um, and are not using the pickaxe, it will repair up, and I won't have to waste. Uh, steel to give it a repair job. So that is pretty cool. Okay, uh, well, I don't know. I'm guessing you guys don't really want to see me stand here just digging random blocks, so let me finish digging. I think I can get this all done before the sun goes down again. Gonna get a good amount of gold and, uh, well, just all sorts of stuff here. And a few coal, and yeah, this is good. So let me finish this up. It looks like I'm getting pretty cool. Maybe, maybe this is it. Maybe just like right here. Is that it? Because I see dirt now. I need to get that coal. I don't need to need to, but I'm going to. Oh, there is a torch down there. I hope it doesn't go boom. Yeah, let's block this. No real need to get back in there, I don't believe. Okay, so we got that, and of course the coal will make you uh, sick if you stand in it. The, the dust or vapor or whatever will will uh, give you inhalation damage, just just like a coal miner would if he was down digging and got a bunch of dust going and got it in his lungs, right? All right, let's get out of here and get back to the house. And once I sort all this, uh, let's see, too heavy. Um, well, we got time. I'm going to keep, oh, I can't run. I mean, walking is okay, but running. Running and jumping on ice, by the way, is really fast usually. But also is going to suck up all of your um, uh, hunger so in this pack so we're not going to do that okay let's get rid of a few things stack that all right oh you know what else I can do maybe some more of this will stack ran out of slots but yeah some of those aren't full stacks there we go now I'm off to 52 all right let's head back to the house I may look for a couple of seeds here do I have my yeah, I got my sickle. I don't have a ton of room. I guess I can make you into bone meal. I don't know why I would need just a bone. And I actually picked up a bone meal off of something. Okay, uh, let me see what kind of seeds we can find. That one was a snowbell seed from witchery. I can tell that one for sure. Hmm. Let's go this way instead of going over top. Oh, well, there. That was it for that. How much room? I got a little bit. All right, so like I said, uh, soybean seeds are pretty good. In, uh, especially in Magic Farm. You can... That's not what I meant, but okay. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with soybean seeds. In, or soybeans, which can be turned into to tofu in Magic Farm. I was looking through some of the recipes and there's less to do with soybeans here, but they're still quite useful. And I think AMS is still working on um, 
different recipes. Am I not getting that salt? Yes, I am. I say that I, I have like no salt right now, so I'm gonna grab this on the way by. Uh, I think AMS is still working on recipes because there's some of the recipes you can substitute tofu for, and some of them you just can't. So doesn't seem to be a lot of rhyme or reason. Oh shoot, I hate water in this pack. Oh wait, house is right there. I was thinking it was further. Oh, a little bit further along. Anyway, so some of the stuff I was looking up, like that footlong hot dog that I was doing in Magic Farm, you can't substitute tofu for that in this pack. But you look at, um, what was it, chicken sandwich or hamburger or something, and you can substitute tofu for the uh, chicken or the beef or whatever in that one. Come here, guys. Oh, I got two calamari off of him? You know, I was killing a bunch of these guys and not getting any calamari, and it was kind of driving me a little nuts. I was getting a little bit mad about that. But there's three calamari, so there's three more fish sticks I can make. Definitely worth the extra hunger. I think definitely worth the extra hunger I wasted going down there getting them. Yeah, let's call that good. Okay, so let me get out of the water and into the house, and let me sort a few things out. I'll do one more cut. What are we at? Uh, yeah, that may be a good good time to end the episode. So let me, uh, yeah, let me go ahead. You know what? Here's one thing we're going to do right now. Um, I'm going to throw some seeds away because I have no room at all. I'm going to cut this stupid tree down because I've been meaning to do this since basically episode one and it's always been right here bugging me I've got just a little bit of daylight and I'm not going to go out and do anything else right now so look at how tall that is this is going to take a bit but I think it's worth it because I am sick and tired of all the shade that all the mobs are getting right outside the house here so let's do it a little bit of jumping a little pillaring oh man so dark I can't even see the wood here. I think I remember reading that the darkness was going to be turned back just a little bit in the next version, so that's one hopefully will be one nice thing on the 104 update when I get there. Other than that, I think the rest of it's all evil, you know, which is kind of the whole point of this. Alright, I can't even see where things are. Oh, and there goes the sun again. Alright, here we go. Maybe I'll put a torch right here just for a second. As long as nothing spawns like right here and goes inside. <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be okay. Here we go. Two more pieces. Man, who knew just chopping a tree down would be stressful? Come on. There's got to be one piece of wood in here somewhere. Where is it? This is like the main area I don't want people, bad guys hanging out at. There we go. And here too? Oh, come on, guy. Okay, there goes the sun, for reals. For reals. Mm. Alright, let's get out of here. Get inside before things start showing up. And I did see a few apples drop, a couple of them at least, so there we go. Alright, finally after a dozen episodes, got that tree cut down. And I'm just about starving. Yes, I am starving. It says so on the screen. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Leave me a, a comment or a like. Just say howdy and let me know how things are going or what, what cool stuff I'm missing out on. But uh, yeah, I feel like we're making just a little bit of progress finally. Let me get over and get the kind of a uh, base or secondary house or whatever set up there and then maybe get just a little more leather for a backpack um, the knapsack's cool and I got the strong box over there maybe I can get a, a backpack as well and then we can go down and see about conquering the uh, roguelike dungeon over there so that's about it for now I will see you in the next episode thanks for watching as always